Doctor Who fans know that Time Lords have two hearts, right? But have you ever wondered what their circulatory system actually looks like? Amelia Marvit, a certified Whovian and a post back researcher at the NIH, did a deep dive on how the Doctor's hearts might actually work. Let's take a look at the evidence. We've seen that the Doctor can survive temporarily with one heart out of commission, right? I've only got one heart working. How do you people cope? This tells us that all of the vital organs must get blood from both hearts. That way, if one heart fails, Organs like the brain and the kidneys don't lose their blood supply and the doctor can still stay alive, albeit with lots of pain. <laughs> My theory is that less critical organs, like muscles and digestive organs, only get blood from one of the two hearts. So if one heart fails, the vital organs are still okay, and the less critical organs won't be taking up as much supply since they can survive with reduced blood flow for a little while. That reduced blood flow is why the doctor feels pain all over when one heart isn't working. <laughs> this layout made sense to me, but why does the doctor have two hearts in the first place? I decided to see if evolution had addressed a similar question, and it turns out that there are creatures with multiple hearts right here on Earth. Cephalopods, like squids and octopi, are thought to have evolved from slow-moving ancestors. Though the specifics of their evolutionary origins are controversial, many of their relatives today are slow-moving creatures with only one heart, like snails and clams. As cephalopods evolved to be fast-moving predators, they needed two extra hearts to keep up with their increased metabolism. Cephalopods today have three hearts, one main heart with three chambers, plus two extra hearts with one chamber each. These smaller hearts help maintain blood flow through the gills. Perhaps the doctor has two hearts because time lords, like cephalopods, have high energetic demands. There are lots of ways to solve the varied problems that nature throws at us, and evolution has explored many of them. Through science fiction, we can explore even more.